Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. I am a reader and a writer. It is that time again. It is now in November and it's time to do a November TBR. So first up, as part of my TBR, I am planning to do NaNoWriMo again. If you don't know what that is, NaNoWriMo stands for National Novel Writing Month, and in the month of November, you try to write 50,000 words of a novel. The idea is that you're trying to write a new draft, however, it's uh, the rules have really relaxed. It's more important that you're writing. How I have always been told is just have fun and attempt it, because at the end of the month, you've still written more words than you would have if you had decided not to write at all. So that is my goal. So that changes my reading focus because when I am more heavily writing, I like to write first and I normally write in the morning and then read in the evening. That's my normal schedule with NaNoWriMo since I'm trying to hit a word goal. Sometimes I need to write in the evening as well. I found that during my time as a student that it was easier for me to write fiction when I was reading a lot of nonfiction because I can read that at the same time I'm writing. And so for my November TBR, because it's going to be November nonfiction month for me, or at least the books I'm planning on reading. Now I'm also slower when it comes to reading nonfiction, so we'll see how far I get into these as well. So the first book on my TBI, blah, blah, blah. I cannot speak this morning. So the first book I have on my TBR is White Feminism by Koa Beck. I'm really interested in reading this because I took a class at the very beginning of my college career, which was, ooh, many years ago, about women in history. And that's where I was taught the definition of feminist is someone who wants equal rights for women and men. And I, I want to stress the someone. So you can be non-binary and a feminist. You can be male and a feminist. It does, you know, being a feminist does not mean you have to be a woman. And with that definition, for me, that meant not only gender, you know, all genders should be equal, but all races should be equal. And what I mean by equal is everyone has the same rights and opportunities. Now, that's obviously not the world we live in, so that's one reason I'm really interested in reading this book, to fill in the gaps in the history that I know, and to just become better acquainted so I can be a better person overall. Which also leads me into my next one, which is Stamped by Jason Reynolds and Ibram Kendi. And this is about anti-racism. I've been waiting a long time to get this book because it's been very popular, especially with the events of the past couple of years. This book shouldn't have had to become popular because people are dying. It should be popular because we want to be better people. But I have been waiting to read this and I'm hoping to get to it in this month. And then if I somehow manage to read both of those, like I said, I am slow when it comes to nonfiction, I want to finish Digging for Richard the Third, I I'm about a third of the way through. Um, I picked since I own this one, I pick it up and put it down, pick it up and put it down because it's more of a academic writing, which isn't a bad thing, and it gives lots of history of what's going on and all the pieces, which I'm enjoying. So it, it just is a little bit of a slower read. Just because I'm going to be focusing on nonfiction, because I can read nonfiction at the same time I'm writing, that doesn't mean that I won't be reading fiction this month because, gosh, reading fiction is like drinking water or breathing air. It is just going to happen. But my goal is not to read fiction until after I've gotten my word count for the day. So I'm still going to be a mood reader for fiction. It's going to be a surprise for me, as well as for you, what I pick up. What are you reading in the month of November? I'd love to hear about it, because really hearing what you're reading adds to my TBR list, 
which I'm okay with. Thank you and have a great day.